G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, for a little while I've been working on a, another model engine, a steam engine. And this one is a design by a guy called David Kurzel. And I saw it on the internet and yeah, I thought it was pretty nifty. It uses a rotary valve in the crank pin and it feeds in goes up through into the power piston and then the exhaust back out through the same line no big deal there I did that in a previous engine and it worked good but what it does is it exhausts out through the centre of the crank pin it's hollow so rather than have a separate exhaust in the pivot point um, it just pumps it out through the end of the, um, the, the crank uh, rod. It turned out pretty nice. Uh, it was a fiddly job to do because I had to keep modifying the, the plan. I've got a bit of texture on there. I've still, as for the timing, I've been playing around with it. Got the timing pretty right. Soldering was a real bit of a job because you know you had to paint it first, otherwise you couldn't get it together. And then it'd be careful you didn't burn the paint. But anyway, it uh, I did it with that little hydrogen oxygen torch. It's got a very, very small flame. And uh, yeah, it's got a brass piston. It's got an aluminium crank journal. Brass flywheel. Quite a big heavy flywheel. And yeah. I'm quite pleased with it. It looks fantastic. So, does it run? Well, let's hook it up and check it out. Alright, let's give it a bit of gas. There you go, it's a goer. It's a noisy little motor. And if you put it on wood, it resonates through even more. I think it's to do with the, I don't know, the mass of it or something. It's the first one that I've ever built that's been as noisy as this. I'll start it right down. Pretty good there. What I think I'll do is I'll try lightening the piston a bit more because when you wind her up there's quite a bit of vibration. I suppose it's not bad because it's not bolted down, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten the piston a bit more. I've, I have taken some weight off of it. I don't want to drill the flywheel to offset the piston unless I have to. Well, it's actually not that bad really, but it's just that, yeah, if it doesn't have something under it, if it's just wood on wood, it's really noisy. I'll show you the air 
pressure it's using. So that's pretty good. It's pretty comparable with my other little engines. Yeah, interesting. Cool, isn't it? <laughs> Amazing what you can make out of a few bits and pieces. Once again, I've kept the, the engine pretty small with my hand, and you know, it's the sort of size I work in. There's a tiny little pinhole air leak there, I might have to just touch that up with the torch, there's the tiniest little bubble going on there, but uh, yeah it was tricky, I couldn't overheat it, I had to be careful doing that. So I'll pull out the piston and we'll have a look at that and I, uh, I might do a bit more lightning on the piston, see what happens. It's pretty easy to work on, I mean well it's tight, you can see I've got a mark here for the timing that lines up with the grub screw so I know where that has to be. It's pretty touchy on the timing like all these rotary valve engines are so I'll take out the piston. Out she comes. So I think I'll take some of that middle section out because it doesn't need it and uh, we could probably step it down like I've done with the the end of it there I can do that in the middle take some more weight off and it will still have you know rubbing areas that can't camp the piston I mean if you would say to machine that right back up to here as the Conrad is hooking up so far back it would cant the piston so you have to leave some uh, rubbing surface both ends of the of the piston and that stops that happening by taking out that middle section we can cut the weight back quite a bit so I'll do that once again we're going to use collets for this sort of work these are indispensable so there we go that's what we want and we'll use the, the old Schorbler, it's my collet machine, more primarily. I had a second thoughts on this, I'm actually just going to bring this back up to about here. And uh, I might just take a little bit out the middle as well. If you do have the uh, collets, get one of these wrenches. They're a lot better than the single pointers. These are these are really good. They can't slip on you. And uh, the single point ones can slip. You know, put on a bit of oil. So I think it's a lot of use. High speed steel.
I'll leave it at that. We'll use the parting off blade to do this one. It won't be. I've got to get really close and there's not going to be much room. I think we'll try that. That's uh, pretty reasonable. I could have taken a little bit more out, but uh, we'll, we'll give that a go. I've decided to drill out the centre as well, so we'll do that. Take a bit more weight out of it. Right, well I've drilled out the centre and I haven't got excessively big with it, just enough. Cleaned up the groove a bit with a file in the lathe and now we'll put it back together and this is going to be it. Okay, let's try it now. As Con, the Greek guy I used to work with, used to say, that's more better, more better than better. Well, it's not much different really. I think it is a bit smoother. Get on some level ground. Oh yeah, that's a bit better, I think. How's that grab you? It's a bit of slow as she's going to go, I think. See the exhaust pulsing the paper. It actually runs pretty bloody well. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Yeah, it's more like a stationary engine than a steam engine.
No, this is not bolted down in any way. It's just sitting there. So it's, it's pretty good. It's smoothed it out enough, I think. Oh, that's enough. There you go guys, that's it. Project complete, well, almost complete. I've still got to make up a wooden base for it. That'd be no problem. And mount it on that and then, yeah, she's finished. The, um, the boiler side of things, I might do it in the track. I'll see it's, uh, it's steam capable. It's all brass where it counts. And the piston cylinder's not huge so I could probably do it that's just a project for another day okay well look that's it from me hope you found it interesting we'll see you next time cheers